guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to reviews on anything. My name is Peter and today we are doing a video with a message. A message of protecting the environment, because unless you've been living under a rock, you know that we are drowning in a sea of plastic. And I mean that in the most literal sense of the word. There's plastic everywhere, oceans are filling up, landfills are filling up, and it's mainly due to our sort of disposable lifestyle. We dispose anything from cups to plates to cutlery, anything plastic, we just throw it away after one use. And today's topic is straws in particular, because we are looking at the final straw, which is, as the name suggests, potentially the final straw you ever need to buy. It is a Kickstarter project that I backed a few months ago that came to a hugely successful end. Uh, I think they raised 1.8 million in total, and the product has finally arrived. Uh, it has now become a real product. Uh, the message behind it is clear. We need to save the environment. We are using less disposables and more sustainable things. Uh, so we're going to take a closer look, see if this straw is indeed as sustainable as they claim it is, and if this is indeed the final straw you'll ever need. Alright, so here we are with the final straw and the carry case uh, up close, but we'll get to the carry cases in a second. Let's start with the straw itself. Um, it's a straw, it's a reusable straw, so you know, no explanations needed there. Anything from your McDonald's, your milkshakes, to your Starbucks, to just sipping out of a glass at home, uh, a straw has a place anywhere. This is reusable, so obviously it is not made out of plastic, but we have uh, stainless steel on the outside and we have food grade silicone here on the tips. Also on the inside, because this is a collapsible straw. If I pull it apart, you can probably see the lines here already. I can pull it apart like so, and then I can actually fold it in half. Uh, I can do that again here on the quarter lines and then you have a very small package. You can see that it stretches uh, nicely, so no problems there. Uh, there are obviously questions about the durability of this stretch because you're going to be stretching it here a lot. Uh, you have to collapse it all the time to fit it in the carry case. Uh, but Final Straw claims uh, 12,000 stretches should be no problem. And that is uh, quite a lot of stretches if you think about how often you actually use a straw. Uh, if you do it for your morning and your evening commute, for example, with your coffee, you should be go good to go for several years. Now that is all there is to see about the straw, you know, this is what it is, you know exactly what a straw does. So far, so good. Then we get to the carry cases, which are a crucial part of the product and of the product experience. Because obviously you're not just going to chuck this in your bag, it's going to get dirty, it's going to get lint on it, and it's overall not a good experience. Uh, let alone putting it, you know, in a jacket or pants pocket, that is just not possible. So the carry case needs to work. I got two colors here, uh, sort of a light blue and a gray. Uh, there's a few other color options available, but I thought these were nice and stealthy. The straw is always uh, the same, by the way. It's always in this color. Now, first of all, it's uh, portability. Uh, when you fold the straw up, it fits in here, as we'll see in a minute. Uh, so, you know, it's sleek, it's nice and streamlined. So you get a little uh, rope so you can hang it on your keys. Uh, and that is crucial because, you know, you need to have this with you at all times. Uh, if you, you know, forget to take it with you or if it's inconvenient to take it with you, then you're just going to leave it at home and that defeats the whole purpose. Uh, so the case has to, you know, work practically and this on the outside it certainly does. It's sleek, stealthy and the lid is nice and solid so nothing will get in or fall out. Opening it up, you're greeted with a drying rack. By the way, the cases are made of recycled plastic to uh, reduce the eco footprint, of course. You got a dry rack here. Uh, why is that important? Obviously because your straw is going to get wet and it's important that the liquid always has a chance to sort of seep out so it doesn't get uh, stuck on the inside for prolonged periods of time. So the dry rack is nice, um, makes it also easy to dry it at home for example after uh, several times of use you can just take the rack out and let it sit on the table for a while for it to fully dry out. Now pulling this further out, you'll see it spring out, is a squeegee. Now obviously your straw is going to get dirty. Anybody who has uh, you know, a big drinking bottle with a straw in it, uh, it's like a reusable drinking bottle, knows that they're going to get dirty on the inside the straws. Uh, that's from you know, dirt from your mouth, bacteria from your mouth going into the straw, uh, but also just you know, imperfections in whatever you're drinking that are going to get stuck in the straw. Now it doesn't look like much, it's just a string of rubber, but there is a squeegee on this end. And that means you can just stuff it in your straw goes all the way through. As you can see it pokes out now on the other end and the squeegee part fits exactly so you can just pull it through it'll say pop plop, 
and your straw is clean on the inside. You can do it a few times and you're, you know, not guaranteed, but you can be sure that your straw is clean. Add to that that the straw is dishwasher safe and you're certainly, uh, you know, don't have to worry about any kind of dirt building up inside your straw. Downside, I have to say, is obviously that you cannot look inside your straw and it is silicone inside. So, you know, uh, apart from doing this, there's not much actual cleaning you can do. Uh, but if you put it in the dishwasher every once in a while, you know, you should be good. And if not, you can always clean it with warm water and soap uh, for that extra bit of care. Now, altogether, it fits really nice. Um, I'll show you with the gray one here, because this has a straw folded up inside. I hope you can see it properly on camera. Uh, but this is just how it sits. You know, completely folded and nice and streamlined. And with the lid closed, it looks super discreet, super streamlined and super slick. And when you want to get your straw, you just open it up, pop it out, and it clicks into place like so. And you're ready to have your drink. So it's really, it's no work at all. You just have to reach for your keychain or wherever you have this hanging, get your straw out and you can start drinking. Same procedure in reverse when you are done. You fold it up like so, pop it back in, close the lid and you're on your way again. So it's a very thought through process uh, from the straw itself to the drying rack, to the streamlined case, uh, to the portability of the whole thing, to the cleanability of the whole thing, to make everything work as convenient as possible with as little intrusion and as little extra work for you as possible. Now, after having had a look at the final straw itself, the question is obviously, have they done it? Have they created the final straw? I'd say yes, they have. This is indeed the final straw you'll ever need. Uh, barring any malfunctions or the thing breaking or getting lost, uh, besides this one, you don't really need any other straws in your life anymore. I think they've done a really, really good job in not only making the product good, but also the experience of the product good. Uh, this only works, like I already said earlier in the video, if you're actually able to take it with you at all time. And let's face it, we are lazy. Uh, we like the convenience of having disposable items because it's just always around and we don't have to think about it. Having this case and having this case done as well as they've done it, uh, makes that extra step to use this so small that it's almost uh, no extra effort for you to do at all. You just have to remember when you're getting your Starbucks drink or when you're getting your milkshake to say no to the straw or don't grab the straw and just use your final straw. Uh, so I think they've done a really good job in making the product good and making the experience around the product good and convenient and easy to do as well. In the end, recycling and being sustainable is not difficult, it just requires effort and we don't like that. So I think Final Soil did a great job in reducing that effort to a bare minimum, making sure that it is as convenient as possible for you to use the Final Straw. Besides usability, the product itself is solid, uh, literally because it's stainless steel on the outside, but also the material choices and the way they've done the folding system, it's thought through properly. Uh, the marketing campaign is hilarious and very well done as well. So it's very much a new company, a company of this time, of this day and age, and I really like that. I think the product speaks for that uh, as well as the whole image of the company. Now, of course, there's always questions to be asked about the production of this product and the production of the case and how environmentally friendly that has been. Uh, they say on their website they've produced it with a company in China that is known for its eco-friendliness and that's also audited on that. Um, I suppose we have to take their word on it. Regardless of how eco-friendly the production is, there's still an impact on the environment and you can always ask uh, is that impact bigger than an amount of straws that I might use in a certain amount of time? Uh, I think that is sort of missing the point because uh, sure production always pollutes uh, But in the end if you look at all the pictures on the news with how much plastic there is swimming around in our oceans and what it is doing to our sea life uh, What it's doing in the end to humans on top of the food chain I think this is a genuine effort and a genuine product uh, that strives for a better world And I think that is to be applauded especially in this day and age and I think it's certainly in tune with the times. So I think this is the first time in 350 plus videos where I can genuinely say you should go out and buy this product. This is certainly something that belongs in everybody's pocket these days, especially when you look, for example, at the European Union that is actually gonna ban plastic straws in years to come. Uh, this is certainly a good alternative and something that I think should be commonplace all around. This is Peter from Reviews on anything with a look at the final straw. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, that always helps us out a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!